press conference I heard about before a guy he was supposed to take place tomorrow. You didn't even know nothing about it, boy. Uh, I've, I got a phone call. I always get phone calls. Mm. Mm. Well, where's I want to start? say this about being on the front line because I'm an activist council person. I've been here for 20 years. I walked. People in here know that. I donated money. I stood out there yesterday when I got off a full-time job to pay some decent salary. I stood at Prospect and talked to people. Passed out. We, we need to change. And people, I was feeling the vibes of the people. The people want to change. Yeah. Now, I don't just like Gary North, but when Eric Brewer left, we had about a $600,000 deficit. Over the five or six years, went up to five million. With the finance department, it's just irresponsible. When I said this, I've been saying this for years. Okay? But you can't quit, you can't give up. So, Miss Stanbury went out three times. Uh, Brother Jones back there went out. But God put people in place to take it to the next level. And the pieces came together. Okay, this person stepped up, that person stepped up. We walked, they walked. And Somebody said it's right. It's not certified yet, but I'm feeling that I think we're there. But I don't want to jump the gun. We'll know either by the 17th of December or the 19th. Now, you have a role to play. That is, talk to your neighbors, get them involved, the street clubs that we talk. We have to be a community. When I talked to some people today, I talked about the fact that East Cleveland is now at a 2.3 deficit. We can turn this thing around. Yeah. Okay? Right. We can turn this yeah. thing around. Yeah. I want to say this. Yeah. Uh, Gary Norton has a responsibility as the mayor with us to have an economic development plan. Yeah. A plan, a five-year plan, or a ten-year plan. And that's never happened. Sorry, not just yeah. talking the last two, three years about annexation and merger. Exactly. That's not yeah. going to get it. That's right. We live here right next to University Circle and Corporate. You've heard me say this. Right. They want this land, want especially that. between Superior and Lakeview. Okay? It's vacant land. If you go down there with Barnes and Noble and that, in, in that area down there, University Circle, they land locked down there. We got the land. So they need to sit down and work with us at the table. Woo! Sit with us at the table. That must take place. And we'll work this thing out within the next five years. I'm committed to doing what I can. That's why it's just about talking to talk, just walking to walk. I was there. I was out there. Okay? When I came in yesterday with my feet wet and all like that, and I got that phone call last night that said, God has answered the prayer. Yeah! David Hunter, God has answered the prayer. Now, I need to read this to you about removal, and I'll sit down. Filling vacancies, this is section 56 of the charter. Any such election, if a majority of the votes cast on the question of removal of any member of the council are affirmative, the person whose removal is sought shall thereupon be deemed removed from office upon the certification of the official canvas of the election to the council and the vacancy caused by such recall shall be filled by the remainders of council according to the provision of section six of the charter. So we got something to do. I'm waiting on the good news, either the 17th or the 19th. Good news. We have work to do. We still got our library, the leadership there, they want this land, but they want to take it from us. Right. They don't want to work with us, and we're not going to let that happen. I have spoken. Thank you very much. I got a lot of energy, and right now I don't feel like spewing it all over this room because there's enough in here for you and me to go around. I want to thank those who were out there marching in the rain along with myself 
and those are true. You know, sometimes you have to, just because you're quiet and you don't say anything, that don't mean you ain't moving. That's right. There's a such thing as called the turtle in the hair. Okay? The hair jumps all over the place. But the turtle keeps moving. Okay? I want to thank uh, this young man in front of me. Yes. Yeah. Because yes. he came to me several times. And he was saying what we got to do. I don't have to read the charter because I was chief of the charter. I know what's in the charter. I've had the lessons from clerks before. One of the clerks is sitting back. Were you laughing? And I will acknowledge him. Let him back. He was a very good educator, yes, Barbara was. Thomas. Mm -hmm. There was another ed uh, educator <laughs> that was a very good educator, Barbara Thomas. And I have lived in East Cleveland for 50 plus years. And I keep telling the story that I raised five kids, a husband who's gone on in, and three dogs. This was my home. It still is my home. I keep investing in my home. And when somebody keeps monkey funking around with my home and my people, I get upset. I do. I really get upset. So you don't run away from nothing. You run to it. And when the young man says, Council Thomas, I want you to help me save the library. I was out there with him to save the library. When he said he wanted me to march with him for anywhere else, I was out there. But it's not about me, it's about us. Each time we get a uh, mayor, the mayor tell you what he's going to do and how he's going to do it, and we're going to make everything all right, and we're going to do this and we're going to do that. It never transpires. Mm. You don't you get tired of being right. sick and tired, and yes ma'am, council people too. I'll throw us on in there, because I take ownership for my shortcomings. I never run away from it. So when the young man told me what he was going to do, I said, okay, let's do it. You don't have to scream and holler and act <laughs> ugly about it. Just get about being about it. That's right. And let's do what we That's got right. to do. Let's be about it. I have talked to my <laughs> merchants. I've had meetings with my merchants in War II. I've asked them what can we do. They had no faith in each administration because nothing has happened. Yep. Wow. So when you get a mayor that gets up and walks out on you and there's nothing that you can do, then you get all upset. You even take that merit to court, and you lose it in court. All right? <clears throat> then you say, okay, we're going to do the recall. People get all excited about $15,000 recall. Mm -hmm. But whose money is it? It's our uh, money. Exactly. And when you want to buy a car, you buy that car with, my money. But with your money. Right. So you take out.